I hope you're all well. So I've been asked to do a tutorial on creating split 3D pop-up effects. And so we're going to do it within a letter today. But I wanted to share with you two Etsy shops first. Uh, the first one is this one, P.S. It's Cut With Love. And you can see there's quite a few of these different SVGs available. There's images, there's letters, I believe there's numbers as well. Uh, they're absolutely stunning. The next one is Digital Gems. And again, there's a whole range of these. There's some images, there's some letters. Uh, there's some really beautiful ones. So it's just to show you that if you don't want to sit and make them, there are ready-made ones available. And I will pop both shops in the description below. Now we're going to work with butterflies first and these are actually really easy to do. The trick is you want to try and work with images that have got outline layers. So for example with this one here, if we just remove or hide these layers, you'll see that because you've got a larger layer it creates an outline and this is perfect for creating these 3D split pop-ups. So all you're going to do is you're going to highlight and then you're going to slice your two layers. So you've then created this outline layer. Then you're going to grab a circle and you're just going to create a gap between both sides. And this will allow you to have that kind of split pop up and you get that lovely 3D effect, which is just what you want. And of course, you're just going to do a simple slice to achieve that. And it's really that easy when you're working with an image that has got an outline. It's super, super easy to do it. So if we look at this one, let's just hide these two cut layers. So we're then left with just solid layers. Again, we're going to slice. And if we just remove them, you'll see you're left with this outline layer. Again, you want to separate both sides. So you're just going to go in with a circle. And you're then just going to do a nice slice. Let's make that slightly larger. And you're going to highlight and you're going to slice. And again, that's that's it that's all you need to do it's really really simple and easy I've left a little bit there so I'm just going to grab my contour and I'm just going to click that and it will remove it and so you can see that having the kind of outline layer really helps again with this one this one here we're just going to do a straight slice you can remove those we want to keep the outline and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a shape. I'm going to grab a circle. And again, and that's just going to be my separation between my two sides. And there you go. That will give you a lovely pop-up effect as well. So what happens if you love an image but it hasn't got an outline? So this one is a double layer, but the layers are the same size. Well, it's a little bit hit and miss. Some of them will be really easy to do. Some of them will be a bit trickier. So the first one I'm going to do is ungroup them. And then I'm just going to make the upper layer slightly smaller. And you're just going to go in and you want to create your own outline. Now you'll see it's not that simple. Some of these images, it's not that easy to do a straight outline image because they're completely different. So all you're going to do is you're going to slice. And let's just see how this one's turned out. So actually that's worked really well. I just need to take my middle out. Uh, there's too much kind of going on there and that's going to be really hard to get that pop-up effect. So all I'm going to do is grab a shape and a circle and exactly the same as before, you're just creating that split. So we're just going to place that over and then you're going to highlight and slice. Now the one thing I will say, when you're creating your own ones like this, you want to make sure that when you reduce your image down 
they are still sliced, so they are not touching. If you reduce them down and your sliced lines start touching each other, then you're going to have to go back in and readjust them because you don't want that. You want them to be separated. That is what makes this work, is the separation. And you can do that with a single layer as well. If you've just got a single layer butterfly image, you're just going to duplicate it and you're just going to play with it and see where you end up. As with all things, it's about playing and experimenting. So let's say you wanted to do it with a heart. You're just going to duplicate it. You're going to reduce it in size. You're going to align to center. And then you're just going to slice. And you'll slice the middle out. Exactly the same thing. You want to separate both sides so you can do that pop-up effect. So you're just, I don't know why I've grabbed a circle. I don't want a circle. I want a square. Going to grab a square and you're just going to create a line going straight down. We are then going to align and center so it's nice and evenly centered. And then you're just going to slice. And you can see that you've then got your separated heart. So that will create a nice 3D pop-up effect. Now, the one kind of images that I really struggle with to do the way that I've been doing is flowers. You can do them, but they do take a bit of a faff doing it the way we've just done, or at least I find them too. They never work out first time, and there's a lot of kind of playing around. But there are ways in which you can create flowers. So I'm going to come in, I'm going to grab a circle. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work with an already flower image. And I just want to try and create a rough shape of one of the petals only one I only need one and I want that to be a little bit thinner and it's just about playing and sort of having a kind of play around I think about there now the key is you obviously want to overlap the joins of the petals because you want to be able to slice those out so we're just going to slice and if we move our flower, you'll see that this petal is now on its own. So we can then come into contour and we can remove those. And we're going to remove this bottom one as well. So we're only left with the top one. And then you can unlock it and you can just play with it. You can play with the petal however you like. You know, it's your individual creations. It doesn't have to be a normal flower in the sense of a flower. The other way to do it is again, we're going to come in, we're going to grab a circle. I'm going to unlock it and I'm just going to transform it. And I'm then going to duplicate that. Now the key to doing it this way is with your sides, you want the side areas to be quite long. If you work with something small like this, you are going to lose some of the petal shapes and you can end up with a really small cut and so if you want a big kind of flower pop-up effect you want to make sure that the sides are quite long and that you're not going to lose those so I'm just going to align and I'm going to center horizontally and then I'm going to slice and it will then leave me with my petal shape and again I can come in and I can unlock it and I can, can transform it any way I like. You know, I can make my petal however I want it to be. Exactly the same principle before. If you're creating your own like this, you do need to make sure that when you reduce them down, you do not have anything that's touching. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to crumb in. I'm going to grab a circle. This is obviously going to be the middle of my flower. I'm just going to reduce it down and I can then duplicate my petal and I can just make my flower any way I like. Once you're happy, you're then just going to come in and you're going to weld each of your flowers or your creations, whatever it is that you're working with. Now, you can do letters, you can do shapes, you can do whatever you like. You can see here, I've already done one with the letter L. 
So I'm just going to show you how I do that. I'm not going to use a letter. I'm just going to use a shape today. So I'm going to get a square. I'm going to unlock it. I want my width to be uh, 8 and I want my height to be 6. And we're just going to press enter. And I also want to change the background color to white. And I also want to arrange and move to back. Now, I'm just going to use a few of my pieces today. So, for example, let's say I want this one in there. And I'm going to make them, you know, a size, whatever. And we're just going to play very quickly. And then I'll sit and create one that I'm happy with. And I'll cut that out. But you can then just bring everything in. You can make them as big or as small, you can change them around, you can change the shapes, you can duplicate them so you can have different sizes in there. And just place them wherever you like. Now, you can either do it this way or you can slice them in. That is completely up to you. If you're going to do a letter, I would advise doing it this way. If you're just going to do a picture like I am today, then you can slice them in. Um, it's completely up to you. So we're just going to place them today. But if you were going to individually slice them in, you would just individually place them. You're going to highlight and then you're going to slice. But for the moment, we're just going to do it this way. I want to make that a bit smaller and I'm going to duplicate it a few times. Once you're happy with it, you're going to hide the background and then you're going to highlight and you're going to weld everything together. So if it was a letter, you would leave it at this point. You wouldn't do anything else with it. You would just go straight to make it. You, you don't need to do anything. But I'm going to put this into a background and I actually want the background to cut out as well so my shape to cut out so I'm going to bring back my square and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight and I'm just going to attach them together so when I then go to make it it's going to cut out my rectangle and also my pattern as I say if you were just going to do the shape on its own so you just want the outline of the letters then you would just weld them and you go straight to make it. I'm going to cut out using a white cardstock today and I'm simply going to use the cut setting medium cardstock. Mm -hmm.